Hello, today we are joined by Bill Lee, Chairman and CEO of Nightscope. Bill, thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having us. Greetings from Silicon Valley. What is the underlying motivation that fuels your commitment to the security industry, and how does this passion drive the innovation and direction of your company, Nightscope? So we're on a long-term mission to make the United States of America the safest country in the world. We need to give the two and a half million officers and guards really smart eyes and ears and almost superhuman capabilities for them to be in multiple locations at the same time. And it's driven primarily uh, by two things. I guess on a professional standpoint, I'm an ex-automotive executive. I think self-driving autonomous technology is going to turn the world upside down. We have a different path to commercializing that technology. And then on the personal side of things, I was born in New York. Uh, someone hit my town on 9-11. I'm still profoundly ticked off about it. So the rest of my life, I'm dedicated to better securing our country. Could you provide a comprehensive explanation of the machine as a service business model employed by Nightscope, highlighting its distinctive features and benefits for your clients and of course the company itself? Yeah, so we work for Big Brother and we build these autonomous security robots that are gonna take everyone's job and kill it. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong interview. No, we, we, uh, we build these autonomous security robots to help the officers and guards do their jobs more effectively. Uh, it's in a very unique machine as a service business model. It's a subscription service. So it's all inclusive hardware, software, docking stations, firmware, data transfer, uh, deployment, maintenance service. Uh, so an off-duty uh, law enforcement officer armed is, you know, varies widely, but let's say about $85, $90 an hour. An unarmed guard is around $15 to $35 an hour. Our machines go out on this machine as a service or mass uh, business model at an effective price of as low as 75 cents an hour to as high as $9 an hour, depending on what which machine and what you want us doing. Nightscope, Bill, offers a range of products in the field of autonomous security robotics. Can you offer an overview of your product lineup and what insights can you share regarding the global market opportunity for these innovative security solutions? The market globally uh, for physical security and security overall is about a half a trillion dollars, likely probably 300 billion addressable by what we intend to build. I believe long term Nightscope, you know, personally, I think we have a chance to build a 30 billion dollar company that looks more like a defense contractor, but instead is focused on the Department of Justice, Homeland Security, the 19,000 law enforcement agencies uh, and 8,000 private security firms. With regards to the technology, it's uh, a few things to think about. One, it's a combination of four really difficult technologies unto themselves. So it's autonomy or self-driving technology, robotics, AI, and electric vehicle technology. So we try to make the problem really hard and make one comprehensive solution that needs to operate 24 seven across the country. Uh, we've operated probably now 2 million hours uh, over multiple winters and, and summers and have seen a lot of uh, crime fighting wins. If you'd like to check those out, go to nightscope.com slash crime. And I, I think there's a huge opportunity to uh, do two things for the officers and guards. One is to provide really smart eyes and ears, and these machines generate over 90 terabytes of data a year that no human is going to be able to process. Um, so these can read license plate, they can do uh, facial recognition, they can run thermal scans, uh, you can speak through the machines, uh, a lot of capabilities. Uh, the second less obvious is to just to provide a physical deterrent. So very simply, if I put a, a law enforcement vehicle in front of your home or your office, criminal behavior changes, right? And in our case, for a lot of our clients, uh, let's say you decided that you're going to go steal a car in the middle of the night and you pull up into the parking lot and there's a five foot tall, 400 pound machine roaming around on its own. It says police on the side, the strobe lights going, it might greet you. Like, I think you're probably going to do a double take and maybe not steal the car there. And that's literally what's been happening across the country uh, for us and our clients. Bill, didn't they make a movie about you, RoboCop? Uh, there's RoboCop, Terminator, Star <laughs> Wars, like, like every possible thing that Hollywood has done over the last 30 years has done us a service and a disservice. Because <laughs> people think the robots, you know, can do, you know, 10 million things more than they can actually yet do. But I think the next 5, 10, 15 years are going to be extremely fascinating uh, in terms of the growth of the capabilities of the, these machines. What we want to do long term is be able to, to, in order to get to that $30 billion, is have a very wide portfolio of technologies that 
you know, criminals and terrorists can be anywhere. So we need to be everywhere and then have these million machines and network that we want to put in place, be able to see, feel, hear, smell, and speak and do a hundred times more than a human could ever possibly do. Sounds fascinating, Bill. And speaking of the portfolio of Nightscope, you recently acquired case emergency systems, right? So where do you foresee the most significant synergies emerging between these two companies? And how will this collaboration enhance Nightscope's ability to serve its customers? I think you look at the numbers, we're growing double digits um, and we're likely to end this year doubling the, the revenue that we did last year. Um, with the acquisition, we have over now 7,000 machines in network. And these are call boxes, uh, blue light poles, et cetera. And I meant what I said earlier. Uh, if we can get all these machines to see, feel, hear, smell, and speak, is going to make a, a massive opportunity for us to do a public safety infrastructure upgrade with AI. Bill, given your impressive revenue growth of over 170% from September 22 to June 2023, could you provide some insights into the strategies you believe will drive continued revenue growth for Nightscope? Three or four things. I think first, just organic growth that, that we mentioned. Uh, a lot of our clients get to see the, um, the machines uh, live. Uh, so if you go to nightscope.com slash roadshow, we've got this crazy robot aquarium running across the country. Uh, we're probably going to hit our 100th uh, tour stop here shortly. Uh, second, we um, uh, announced earlier this year and hopefully here before the summer's out, we'll be uh, deploying our first machine uh, with, uh, with the support of the NYPD brass and the mayor of New York City uh, in Manhattan. So I think that's going to be very interesting. Um, I think third... We have um, an opportunity with the U.S. federal government. We've been through this, uh, working through an almost three-year uh, cybersecurity review process with the uh, U.S. federal government. Our, our sponsor there is the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. So we're, we believe in the medium term, we have some growth opportunities with the federal space. And then actually this morning, uh, we announced um, a partnership with uh, Amazon Web Services to uh, build some new uh, features in terms of uh, smart parking enforcement, and we're excited to work with our friends over at uh, AWS. Wow, that's great news, Bill. Congratulations on that. Thanks, thanks. Uh, making progress uh, uh, one robot at a time. Now, I know you're busy, Bill, and I just want to wrap up with one more question. What is the core value proposition for Nightscope? What compelling reasons would you be able to provide to persuade potential investors to choose Nightscope as an investment opportunity in the AI robotics sector? I think it's real simple. Uh, usually investors are looking at three things. One, uh, do you have a technology risk? Well, these machines are operating across the country. We've done millions of hours of, of work and generating millions of dollars of revenue. So I think we can you know, kind of check the box on the technology risk. Uh, second, uh, do you have market risk? Well, uh, I can assure you that the market for crime is never going to collapse. It's not like 300 million people are going to wake up tomorrow morning and start behaving. So I, I think uh, market uh, risk we don't have. So it's all all about uh, execution, and that's where we're we're focused. And if folks want to learn more about the rise of the robots, just go to nightscope.com/rise. <laughs>